Okay, so now, okay, I'm assuming, yeah, okay, there it is, day two. Okay, so, day two, 1041 in the morning. Oh, that's right, I was going to find out what day this is. Hold on a second, goodness gracious. Okay, August 10th. Okay, so it's a Wednesday. Hmm, must be summertime or something. Uh, so, okay, and I believe the bust happened on the 12th, right, or something? I don't know, who knows? Okay, all right, so, well, we'll figure it out <laughs> as, as it goes along. Okay, let's bring it back up now. Okay. Hello, smiley face. Yach, it's early. Hey, cutie. Hi, I got your email. Smiley face. I'm at work now. Is Dad still at home? <laughs> oh, so the rabbi's at church, man. Oh, terrible. I have to go. Are you busy? Oh, okay. Can we talk tonight later? Dad took the day off. We're going out to go and get some stuff. That's why I'm up so early. We can talk tonight. I'm busy now. Maybe later this afternoon or tonight. Bye. Wow. Wow, just bam, out. Bye. Day three. Oh, no, look at this. It jumps to the, wow, a full six six days. Okay, so a full week goes by. Let me consult the calendar again. Okay, so now it's Tuesday. Okay, good. Okay, so it's Tuesday, three in the afternoon. Hello there. Hello there. Remember me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Can't talk now. Okay, when? Email me when we can talk. And then it ends at 3. Okay, so then it's another almost an hour later. Hello. Oh, no. The decoy has auto response going. I'm away from my computer right now. Huh. Oh, excuse me. I never did the chatting thing, so that's all kind of new to me. Hi. Let me call you soon. How have you been? Still in a meeting. Give me 20 <laughs> My God, was he on a Blackberry? What's going on, Rabbi? Jesus. Still in a meeting. Give me 20 more minutes. Is Dad home? <laughs> oh, God. The duality thing, man. Just, he's in a meeting. He's chatting up a teen boy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Is Dad home? And wow, he really wants to know. No. Is he away? He will be leaving tomorrow. So, okay, so Wednesday. For how long? Will you be alone? For until Friday or Saturday, and, and yeah, no one is available to stay with me. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, <laughs> I can stay with you. Laugh out loud. Woo-hoo! How's work? Let's talk in a little while. Still here at work. In a meeting still? What's what's going on, man? That's like a marathon meeting or something. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Smiley face. Okay, so then like seven minutes later. Hey, Conrad. Sup? So I can talk now. You can. Sweet. What is your schedule tonight? And where do you live again? Herndon, man, I will be home all night, laugh out loud. I got nowhere to go. I got no wheels. Can I come over? Not tonight. My dad's here. He don't leave till tomorrow. Sad face. What time does he come home? Late Friday. Not tonight. Sorry. I wish, though. Oh, man, just being self-bracketed, man. I wish, though. I didn't stop thinking about you my entire trip. What time does he come home tonight? And your hot pics you sent me. Oh, no. More evidence for the charges. Oh, I can't wait to read the judge's summary of his decision. That's going to be nice. Did you send me pics? Soon. Usually depends on if he stops somewhere or not. Yeah, man, I did. Uh, hold on to that thought about... The decoy sending the pics. There's an interesting thing in one of these documents. It's kind of, you know, interesting. Uh, okay, where am I at now? Goodness gracious. Uh, okay. Yeah, man, I did. Send them again, please. 
Okay. Did you get him? David? I'm here. Busy? No. Hot boy. Uh, <laughs> stats again. Uh, <laughs> what's with the... Okay, if it's not shaving, it's stats. If it's not stats, it's kissing. If it's not kissing, it's sucking and being sucked. Five foot five, 120 pounds. What you doing tomorrow? Because he leaves. Okay, so that's a Wednesday. Age? <laughs> Dude! Self-incrimination! Wow! You gotta work? Thirteen. I'm at work, but could take off some time. But for sure, after work, I can come over. You were only 13? Dude, he mentioned it, like, multiple times. Uh, yeah, yeah thank you, decoy. Uh, yeah. That's rape. <laughs> no, I need the Hanson voice. That's rape. <laughs> Dude, I tell you that before. Yes, I remember. Oh, okay. Just you are so, so young. I've never been with a young man like you. But I would like to. Do you know how old I am? Um, maybe you told me, but it ain't that big a deal to me. Wow, nice way to skirt the uh, subject. Like, like insofar as if the, uh, you know, the deco if he forgot. I could never be that fast on my feet. I mean, look at this. Within the same minute, comes back with a, a very believable, you know, line. Okay, great. I want to try stuff. I can let you try anything you want. Okay, great. Oh, interesting. The uh, predator didn't repeat his age. Hmm. I want to try stuff. Okay, I already read this. Jeez. What do you, what do you want to try? And I want you to suck me, like in that pic you sent me. Now, see, that's that censored picture, I believe, from the show. I'm guessing, which I couldn't find. Uh, I can suck your dick. You ever been sucked? No, never. I'm stoked to try it. You cut. Come on, you already asked this stuff. So stoked. Yeah. Yummy, Conrad. <laughs> well, my dad leaves in the evening. Could you be with me at like 11 p.m.? Hmm, interesting, because we know this isn't going to happen because the, the rabbi showed up during the daytime. Or you could come over after he leaves for work and spend the day, then come back later, too. Interesting. To, and and that's 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 actually what played out. Tomorrow night, yeah, sure, I can come anytime. He leaves like at 10 a.m. So if you can be there at 11 a.m., hmm, what does that sound like? Bracketing, bracketing the predator, man. Ah, oh, get him on that 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 poster board with the stick it notes, man. Okay, sweet. Be right back. Gonna go get something to drink. Don't go nowhere. Oh no, gonna get it, gonna get uh Dell to do another phone verification or something probably. Okay, back. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do with guys? I wanna try whatever your favorite is. You tell me. Laugh out loud. How do I know what your favorite is? Smiley face. You like sucking? Or being sucked. Oh my gosh. I, I know I probably said the exact same thing when I read it the other time for that other, quote, concept video. But still, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Yep, the origins of I like sucking and being sucked. I like to kiss. <laughs> oh, no. You tell me what you want to do. I like sucking and being sucked. I like to kiss. <laughs> I wish I could do Chris Hansen's voice. That, that full second pause that he does is just art. I want to try that and rub assholes. Ah, oh, <laughs> I forgot about that part. Now, does he mean like scissoring, or I mean like, like really? Wow, I never thought dudes could scissor. I the mind wanders. I'm seeing all these images. Like, okay, wow, shit could get dangerous at that point. Oh, and kiss, kiss a lot. What? I don't get it. What's the big deal? Okay. You just have to be very clean. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I mean your ass. No shit. <laughs> oh, can you show me? Yeah. 
how to clean your asshole. <laughs> That's just how oh, it gets me. This, this, that line right there, man. That line right there is classic, man. That just tells me that sometime, like back in the 70s, man, a very drunken rabbi went down to toss some dude's salad, man, and was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> When did this turn into scateaters.com? <laughs> well, I think I'm clean, but I want to make sure I'm doing it right, you know? Yeah, see here, the decoy's like, damn, I fucked up. That was a dumb thing to say. Okay, I see, and I'll help you. So what time tomorrow? 11 a.m. Yep, yep, that's about right, too. I would say so. Wow, dude, imagine that, man. You're leaving for work, and there's just all kinds of shenanigans and asshole rubbings going on. Oh, my gosh. Till what time can I come over? Well, actually, he may not even come back here. So till Friday evening. Wow. <laughs> wow, he's just got images in his head now. Just bumping assholes for like two or three days straight. Oh, oh God. Where am I at now? Okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. See, I'm so in sync with the chat logs. Wow. Oh, wow. I do have to work. Oh, when will you know when he is coming home? During the day tomorrow. I'll know for sure tonight. Okay, baby. What is your phone number? But you'll have to... But you'll be able to stay till like 4 p.m. tomorrow if he does come home. You gonna call now? Not yet. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool, because I don't... I gotta get a hold of Dell. <laughs> Dell, quick, man. You gotta call this guy. <laughs> hold on. When you think. Okay. Uh, now. For just a few minutes, okay? Yeah, just for a few. Number? Let me go get the phone. Give me two minutes. See, now, see, there's, now there's got to be coordination going on here, because, like, these, you know, decoys in one part of the country, and then the voice verifier is, could be in a whole other part of the country. So this is, I don't, I don't know how they coordinate that. It's, it's like magic, you know? Okay, blank is the... Okay, so they took the phone number out. Okay, okay. Be right back. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you can call. Calling. So within a minute. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, be right back. I got to go for now, but tomorrow I'll be on 9.15 a.m. for directions, or I'll try to be on later tonight. Bye. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you see, there is some time. If you look between 514 and 533, so within a 15 minute, so, okay, I do, I'm kind of, look, I'm seeing behind the curtain here a little bit, you know, so, so obviously, yes, there is a realism there. There is a, oh, shit, you know, and then, and then Adele's like, okay, got it, and then boom, but damn, still. Okay, so another note from the uh, the uh, decoy person. So, there you have it, folks. Rabbi David K. called the verifier, just like he said he would. Rabbi David K. got directions from the verifier to the house and drove out to meet a 13-year-old kid for sex, just like he said he would. Rabbi David K. entered the home of what he thought was a 13-year-old boy who was home alone, just like he said he would. If the 13-year-old had it been real... Just a second. Rather than myself, Rabbi David K. would have had sex with the 13-year-old, just like he said he would. Sickening. Truly sickening. And there's the end of the chat. Okay. Let me uh, check this other thing. Okay. And then now just to kind of like, you know, look at some of the other stuff afterwards. All right. We all know the scene. You know, it's... it's we all know what went down, right? So here's some a couple of online articles of some stuff that went down afterwards, right? So now it's it's like gone to September. Okay, so the court case and there's you know you do the Google search to get the rest of the stuff, but hitting to some of the main points. So now the whole thing the the year has pa you know six months had passed. He gets arrested. Then I guess in August or whatever time no May May I'm sorry May was the May 2006 was the the trial. Okay. And then, um, so May, June, July, August, wow, four, man, just, 
just months and months and months of just all this stuff. So here's like an article, uh, you know, uh, from jweekly.com. Does that does that stand for what I think it stands for? Jewweekly.com? Oh, my God. I hope it's not some racist website or something. Jeez. Okay, so convicted Maryland rabbi awaits sentencing. Okay, so, yeah, so he's done the court, and he's awaiting the sentencing. All the, all the you know, the machinations have been made, uh, on and on and on. So, well, let's just take a look at this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty short article here. Okay, and this is September 15, 2006. Rockville, Maryland rabbi, Rockville, a Rockville, Maryland rabbi caught in a Dateline NBC sting of online sexual predators was found guilty. Oh, my bad. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Wow. He's okay. So it's okay. Sentencing. My bad. A lawyer. I am not. Uh, was found guilty last week. Okay, so it was still a few months till the the guilt, the verdict came back. Uh, so found guilty last week on charges of coercion and enticement uh, and travel with intent to engage in illicit sexual contact with a minor. Each count carries a maximum sentence of three years. The minimum is five years. Okay. Sentencing will take place December 1st. What? I don't get it. I don't. Wow. I, my mind just is reeling here. What is really going on? Wow, why the why these long gaps of time? In his court testimony, Rabbi David K, who described his urges as an addiction, told the court that he had struggled with sexual identity issues since he was a young adult and for his entire married life of 30 years. Wow. Wow, so I wonder if he was married during the chats. I, you know, I don't, I don't know that part. It was quite a burden on me, Kay said, and he felt a tremendous amount of shame about it. Man, could you imagine reading those court transcripts? Oh, my goodness. Okay. But Kay, 55, claimed in court that he believed he was, he was going to be meeting a young adult. Now, come on, we just saw the chats, dog. We just saw the chats. Despite his AOL chat partner's claims of being just a 13-year-old, Kay had been chatting online with an adult who was posing as a 13-year-old named Conrad. Uh, wow, foreshadowing there, man, foreshadowing. Uh, when Kay arrived at a Herndon, Virginia house on... Oh, there we go, good dates here, dates and times. Wow, so, wow, so, man, all the dates just kind of line up. He instead met... Dateline NBC reporter Chris Hansen and a camera crew. <laughs> oh, man, that early to catch a predator crew, I guarantee you. Bunch of beer-drinking roadies, man. Bunch of beer-drinking roadies. NBC had rented the house and had been working with an organization called Perverted Justice, a controversial group whose volunteers possess children online to expose potential Internet predators. The show was rebroadcast this summer. So they did a rerun again during the summer while the court stuff was going on. Wow, talk about having to sequester the jury. Damn, that's got to suck. Like, I mean, as far as if you're a defendant in a court case and then a national television, you know, like you're a, you're a, you're a superstar from, you know, from the first episode that was aired back in November, then while your stuff's being deliberated, boom, it hits the nation's airwaves again. Oh, dude, man, the rabbi has been in jail since his indictment in May. Okay, wow, okay. So he got arrested in May, stayed in prison the whole time. Because I was just about to wonder, was he out on bail during all of this? Dateline broadcast the segment last November, and Kay immediately resigned after three years as vice president for programming at the Rockville-based teen educational group Panem, the Institute for Jewish Leadership. Huh, so it must have been some kind of... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. Okay. Uh, Kay previously had been a rabbi for 16 years at Congregation Har Shalom in Potomac, Maryland. In his opinion, U.S. District Court Judge 
uh, wrote that Kay's defense was not credible, citing as evidence his demeanor, body language, and facial reaction of complete and utter shock when confronted by Dateline NBC. So, that says to me that the judge watched the footage. And I believe somewhere it was, you know, it's, it's said somewhere that he, he chose not to do a jury trial. I think he went for a, just a just a judge trial. Uh, I think I, you know, but that's that's what I believe. Anyway, uh, wow, complete and utter shock. Yeah, as well as his statements to Hanson. Ha ha ha! I know I'm in trouble, and you know I'm in trouble. Ah! Oh! <laughs> and his response to the question of what he was doing there, not something good. Wow! Wow! The judge decided the case after K. Oh, gosh, thank you. You're, you guys are just, that's what you call good writing right there. Waived his right to a jury by trial. Those who have known and worked with K in the community reacted sadly to the verdict. Yeah, I could see that, you know, I mean. Like I said, the duality, you know, the duality. Uh, and it ties in with the hands and all that other stuff, you know. Kay's conviction is the culmination of a human tragedy, said Rabbi Sid Schwartz. Schwartz? 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 Uh, Executive Director of Panem. Kay has contributed to the community in many ways, uh, but sometimes people have a piece of their personal lives that sabotages the work they do. It's very sad. At Congregation Her Shalom in Potomac, where Kay had been a rabbi for 16 years, people are still saddened and disturbed by the course of events. Um, oh, Kay's attorney, Peter Greenspun, criticized the sting conducted by Dateline and Perverted Justice, saying that the public interest is not served when there is a confluence between the media, private sector, and law enforcement. Law enforcement should be left to law enforcement. He also questioned perverted justice motives. He noted that the group posts illicit, uh oh, posts the explicit chats it conducts on its website where children can see them. Ouch. <laughs> uh, the judge wrote in his decision that perverted justice was paid $100,000 for its participation in the Herndon Sting. And I would, I'd say that's probably like a minimum type thing, you know. Oh, co what's with all the. Come on, man. Am I being <laughs> am I being decoyed here? What's really going on? I don't want to see that. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a minimum. That probably just barely caught. I mean, I, I, it covers, you know, everything. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Datelines to Catch a Predator series has been so successful ratings-wise that the network has already scheduled four fresh installments of the program over the next month culled from two new stings. Oh, can you say Riverside, right? If this was the second? Yeah, ha well, definitely if this was the second. Riverside, and then what was the fourth one? I don't know. I don't have the time to uh, look it up right now. Forts in Georgia, maybe? I don't know. Don't want to get lost. On its website, Perverted Justice trumpets the K conviction. Dum -dum -dum. Noting that it is the group's 75th conviction since 2004 and 35th this year, and that it was one of our most anticipated convictions of 2006. And there's no more comments. Okay. And then... Oh, snap. Let me do a time check while this comes up. Oh, he came up. Hold on. Okay, got seven minutes. I think I'll wrap this up. Okay, so... So now the sentencing comes. Now it's December 2nd. Well, at least December 2nd when the, the, the thing was uh, done. So now the sentencing comes. Now, now, granted, we're far future, you know, we're way into the future now. So, you know, but here it would have been just a surprising article. A Maryland rabbi caught in a television sting was sentenced to six and a half years in prison yesterday. Okay, so December 1st. Uh, wow for trying to uh, blank a blank from a blank over the internet. David A. Ha! Huh, that's ironic. K. 56. Told the judge that he traveled for what is... Uh, okay. Traveled to Herndon for what he thought would be sex with a boy as a cry out for help to fight my personal demons. Hmm. 
I no, nah, I didn't see much demon fighting going on there, actually, there, Rabbi. Sobbing as he acknowledged his father, who's... Oh, no, really? Sobbing as he acknowledged his father, who sat in the courtroom in a wheelchair. Damn! Kay said his conviction made him face the reality of who I am. Wow, I should have said the duality of who I am. I know I need help. I pray that God allows me to get that help. Kay's attorney, Peter D. Greenspun, says the rabbi, who was featured last year on the To Catch a Predator series on Dateline NBC, kept his sexuality secret and spent thousands of hours. Okay, that's the, that's the defense attorney saying all that. My goodness, that's not good. Uh, thousands of hours chatting online in search <laughs> prowling for young men. Kay thought that he was chatting online with a young adult, the lawyer said. He said Kay, who is divorced, is in therapy, and he urged a sentence on the low end of federal guidelines, which recommended a term of 63 to 78 months. There is a very decent core to this man. But U.S. District Judge James C. Oh, Kacharis? I hope I'm not mispronouncing it in Alexandria, settled on 78 months and said Kay would then face 10 years of supervised release. The judge said that during any time, Kay will be forbidden to accept any job involving children, obviously, and ordered him to never be around children younger than 18 without an adult present. Uh, assistant U.S. Attorney Ed Power had called for a tough sentence and said Kay's conduct was a crime of violence in which he essentially tried to rape a 13-year-old boy. U.S. Attorney Chuck Rosenberg. God, all these uh, just U.S. attorneys all over the place. U.S. Attorney Chuck Rosenberg. What, um, what did he have to do with all this? Said the lesson of the case is pretty simple. St stay away from our children. <laughs> oh, good one there. K of Potomac is the former vice president. Okay, we knew this. He resigned. We knew that. Uh, K was convicted in September after a two-day bench trial which prosecutors presented evidence of sexually graphic chats between him and the boy. In reality, the boy was a 26-year-old man working for PJ, a group that tries to expose adults who use the Internet for blank with blank and blank. Perverted Justice was working with Dateline, which paid the Watchdog Group to create a pedophile sting that ran as a series of TV reports. When Kay arrived at the Herndon house that the group had set up, he was confronted on camera. Okay, we know these details. Uh, you know I'm trouble. I know I'm in trouble, Kay told Hanson, according to Kacharis' opinion. Okay, should have left that S off of there, as far as, you know, grammar's concerned. <sighs> the judge convicted Kay of one count of coercion and enticement and one count of tra travel uh, with intent. Other men uh, lured <laughs> to the Herndon home included a school teacher, okay, and a physician. Some defense lawyers have challenged the TV sting operations. Yes, yes, we've heard all that. Kacharis' opinion, so, so that wasn't a uh, just a, a one-off mistake, but that shouldn't be there. Uh, Kacharis' opinion said that NBC paid perverted justice $100,000. Uh, yeah, the bare minimum. During the trial, prosecutors presented outtakes from the NBC show and a log of Kay's chats with the person posing as a 13-year-old. Using the screen name Redbeard, Kay initiated the chats, Kacharis wrote. And then that's that there. Now, I, now here's the other thing. Some... <sighs> damn, i got to wrap this up. S there were, you know, it, well, there's some of the pure raw videos that people have, but you know, it's the uncut, really, truly raw uh, footage. The true Predator Raw. Those things were posted on NBC way back in the day, and they were done in response to all the legal machination, machi machinations, machinations on, uh, by, um, on the rabbi side. And that's why they posted those videos, and those smart enough to have downloaded them when they got them, you know, that's why that stuff was put out there. And that's why back in the day, if you had a subscription to MSNBC, you had full access to, I, I believe, you know, if not all of his, all of all, just raw, uncut, just here it is, the, you know, the, you know, not ready for prime time footage, you know. 
Okay, let me just get this up here. 